Well, what's up, everybody? We are back live, <laughs> back. We have not been on for a minute, and so we are back. First video shoot of 2019 for our small group, so we love seeing y'all. Welcome, welcome to all welcome. of our partners. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah. So glad you. that you're in small group and you are making it happen this year. Provision for the vision of expanding our small group ministry. To any visitors, we welcome you. If you don't know who we are, I'm Bishop John, and who are you, beautiful woman? I'm Pastor Aisha. And we're the pastors of the greatest church on the planet, so we're glad that you're with us. And so let's dive in. We are in a brand new year. Yes. Brand new year, the year of what? Seeking Him. Of seeking Him. Why? And because we believe. Because <laughs> we believe. And so, you know, we've been saying that to the degree that you will go after spending time with God, seeking His face, spending time, mm -hmm. it, it deals with your belief level. It impacts yes. your belief yes. level. And yes. it causes you then to do things from a heart of belief that comes from seeking Him. And so 2 Chronicles 7, 14 is really reinforcing that, that my people that are called by my name would humble themselves, you know, pray. And the Amplified says, seek, crave, require yes. as a necessity my face. Then God says, I'll hear from heaven yes. and I'll start moving in your life. So this is a year of seeking Him. Yes. This is a year of not really asking God for a lot of stuff. No. Not that he doesn't want us to have stuff, but this is not a year mainly where God do this, do that, taking out my list, do this, do that. This is a year of seeking him. Yes. That seeking him, seeking first, according to Matthew 6, 33, the seeking first the kingdom of God, God and, his, and righteousness. his righteousness, his way of doing stuff, and everything else is added, added unto, unto you. you. Everything else that you long for, that you seek, that you think you need, everything that you desire shall be added unto you. Yeah, so, you know, so it's not not going after God and asking him for cash, cribs, and cars, but seeking his face. And that's what the prophetic word we got New Year's yeah. Eve was all about. Yeah, because God said he'll supply all of your needs, not maybe not all your wants, but at least all your needs why, according to his riches and glory. Yeah, so the you know the prophetic word from New Year's yes. Eve was, you know, was God was like, if you seek my face yes. and make my kingdom a priority, make servicing my kingdom a priority. So seeking me and, you know, going after the kingdom of God and servicing the kingdom of God in your local church and in your community, God says those two things positions you for great things. Yes. Preparing your heart for great things. And so we've been talking about that we're in expectation for great things mm -hmm. because we seek his face. Yes. Now, the great things real quick, great things that you have that in front of you or of what great things was, you have that just, what's great things? Just, you know, really it's defined as what? All right, we said that in the context of this teaching that in reflection of scripture, that great things would be defined as extraordinary reversals of situations, yeah. extraordinary resources, surpluses, extraordinary recovery of success, extraordinary revelations from the spirit yes. and the extraordinary rescue from sufferings from which God is glorified. So those are great things. That's what we're expecting. We're expecting reversal of things and resource surpluses and recovery of success, things that you lost this year. But again, this doesn't come from me asking God, no. I'll help me to recover all. This comes from seeking his face, mm -hmm. servicing his kingdom, and then we position ourselves to have great things happen to us and through us. Yes. And, and, so, and one of the things that God brought to my mind is, you know, as we we talked about to the degree that you seek him is to the degree that you that causes you your belief system to go up. And to the degree that you believe right. is to the degree that you'll receive what God has for you. Yes. So your belief system based upon you seeking him yes. will determine what you are going to receive back yes. to in life. And, and we've been reinforcing that when you look at the <laughs> scriptures and you look at what Jesus says, it, it's a reinforcement yes. of, you know, of really seeking him yes. and, you know, that you're seeking him attracts kingdom increase. Yes. Jesus said in Matthew 6, again, we've been saying it, seek first my kingdom and God's way of doing things, and everything else shall be added, added unto, unto you. you. And one of the things I thought was so cool, we brought out that addition, although it might be tangible, it could be also in intangible measures. Yes. So it could be your joy, your peace, your happiness. The bottom line, this whole you know year of you know of being added to is not something I ask for. It's something I seek God's face, you know, seeking Him. And as I do, things are added. So this year ought to be a year where 
things are being added to you you didn't ask for. You know, you know, you turn, yes, you might get some tangible stuff. God's blessing you financially and other things, but then there's intangibles. Your joy level is going up. Your peace level is going up because you're being added to supernaturally as a result of you seeking God and his kingdom. Now, with that being said, before, you know, before we close today, one of the things that, you know, we said you got to be careful of is many times saints make the mistake of thinking God's plan is not best for their life. Yeah. You know, we make this mistake of thinking, you know, that I got to do it my way. I think I told our church recently, your way, my way sucks. <laughs> it sucks compared to what God wants to do. And so we can't turn around and forsake the plan of God mm -hmm. thinking that, you know, his plan doesn't have our best interest at heart. Yeah. Yeah, I, one of the things, you know, I was just thinking, what brought back to my attention is many times the way we want to do things may not necessarily work out best. It could be a really long journey. When you think about Moses, what he thought was best and to, in order to have to handle uh, situations and circumstances, it ended up being a 40-year journey that was supposed to only be an 11-day journey. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you really want to do, um, seek God and see what God says do yes. so that you can receive his yes. best for your life. Yes, I'm multitasking while we're doing this. I'm multitasking, all right? I'm telling somebody to call Elise while we're monkey, while we're shooting video. So you got to do that when you're multitasking, okay? Because we're multitasking here. This is the year seeking him Pray and multitasking. For him. So now, um, you know, so this is, this is really important, really important that you um. don't turn around and get caught up. You know, what the enemy wants to do is for you, you know, life has a way of causing us to, you know, forsake God. Mm -hmm. We start out strong. Right now, everybody's fired up. You know you're fired up. Everybody's fired up about God and seeking God and all that stuff. But the question is, are you going to be fired up come May, come August, mm -hmm. come September? And it's only going to be to the degree that you seek him, that you're in his space, you're worshiping, you're spending time with God, not because you want stuff, but simply because you want him. Yes. And and that's the only way you're going to stay on track and not be deceived by the enemy to think that, you know, you know, you're missing out because you're, you know, you're devoted to God. Yes. God's kingdom and his plan for our life has our best interest at heart. So you don't want to be deceived this year and you don't want to turn around and be backdoored. And by June, you're totally off track. No, 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 no. We're going to stay focused yes. and we're going to seek God. Yes gonna be a great year man awesome gonna year. be a great great year but the whole key it's two points yes. is us individually seeking him spending our time with him yes. hearing from him so that when we corporately gather in this place the second thing we can corporately as a corporate man experience God like we never have before and God can use us as a church family to watch to have great things flow through us because this is not just about or exclusively great things to us it's about great things through us that God wants to use us individually and corporately to expand the kingdom of God into the lives of people. Amen. Awesome. Amen, awesome. Amen. All right. So we're just giving some overview, man, on this series, man, just to keep us focused and fresh on, you know, really, really seeking the face of God so that we walk in great things. So in small group, that's our focus, man. How can we seek God individually? And as a small group so that God can do great things through us and to us because if we let God use us to do great things we can expect great things to rebound back into our life Amen. all right so let's deal with some questions now questions for today some just questions we have that you're going to talk about in group concerning seeking him yes. so what's our first question mama first question is since the beginning of the year has your relationship changed so far from seeking him even more yeah. So how has your relationship changed? Because it's, you know, it's day what? Today is, you know, we're in the, the, the third week of January. And so from New Year's Eve, stuff has been popping off with our church in an awesome way and in our services. And so how has your spiritual life changed compared to New Year's Eve to now? being that we're, you know, a third of the way through January. Where are you now? Yeah, and you may even want to discuss that maybe if you have not, it's not too late, you know, this is the time to repent and jump on board and start talking about and thinking about some things that you need to do and change in order to adjust to seeking him more. And we're not talking about a feeling. Nope. This is, we're not talking about a feeling. It's a cool to have a high, yeah. a spiritual high, <laughs> but we're not talking about a feeling. When you change, we're talking about how you have shifted yeah. spiritually in this whole year of seeking him early on in the new year. Yeah, and I think God had given me that word for our church too, that 
this is going to be a year that you're going to have to seek him, not based upon how you felt, yes, but based upon obedience to his word. That's so good. And so you've got to get to the place because the enemy is going to really come in to try to get you not to do it because you're not feeling it. Right. Uh, but guess what? Your feelings are fickle. And nine times out of ten, the things that you're supposed to do, you're not going to feel like doing it anyway. But you do it out of your obedience yeah. to yeah, God. Yeah. Now, what's the second question? The second question is, what adjustments do you need to make in order to truly position yourself for great things to manifest in your life? Very good. So, we, you know, now that we're talking about, what we, you know, seeking him and positioning ourselves for great things and, you know, seeking his face and servicing his kingdom in the local church. So if I'm not serving, I'm serving. I'm being provision. If I am provision, we're going to be more provision, but also in our community, in our yeah. homes, on our jobs, in our schools. You know, servicing the kingdom of God so that the kingdom of God can be expanded to the lives of people around us. So what adjustments do you need to make so that you truly position yourselves for great things to not only happen through you, but to you? Yeah. All right. Well, we're out of time. First good video back. Man, it's going to yeah. be great all year long. Lickety good split. Going to be good. <laughs> all right. We got to go. Have a great time in group fellowship, man. Share. Everybody share. Let's maximize our time every time we come together. Amen. We always close this way, no matter where you look, high, low, left, right, up, down, there's victory only one place in the entire universe. Where is that, my heavenly angel? In Christ Jesus. Be blessed. Be blessed. All right. Did Wandra